Prophet ﷺ tells us, in Jannah, ليس في الجنة أعزى. This is a hadith in Sahih Muslim. Prophet ﷺ said, no one is single in Jannah. There is no person that's single in paradise. Adam ﷺ uh, was given Hawa, and everyone that enters into Jannah would be given a spouse. Who that spouse is, it depends. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Udukhulu antum wa azwajukum. First and foremost, those that were married would enter together. Okay? Uh, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, enter you and your spouses, right? In this uh, situation. And the scholars, they say that the first relationship that Allah created in the world was that of Adam and Eve for between human beings. Even the parent and the child relationship came later. And Al Hafid ibn Kathir, rahimullah, the author of this book, he goes through these possibilities. You know, what would happen in Jannah for people? He says it's possible, um, for example, that uh, someone that you loved in dunya, but you were unable to marry for some reason, you would be married to that person. So that's one possibility. Okay. Uh, or it's possible that it could just be a heavenly spouse. So you did not necessarily, you know, it, it wasn't a love in this world. It wasn't someone that was desired in this world. It's not someone from this world, but you're given a heavenly spouse or you're given heavenly spouses. You know, sisters ask all the time about, you know, all this mention of Hur al-Ain and so on and so forth, you know, spouses for men. What about women? There's no such thing as haram in Jannah. There is no, no such thing as something that's impermissible in Jannah. A person can have whatever they want, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala addresses that Imam bin Hajar rahimahullah says, Ala sabir al aghlab, that which is common and that which is known. The, you know, we really have no restrictions in Jannah. But the point is, the Prophet says that there is no person that's single in Jannah, just like Adam alayhi salam was not left single in Jannah. Now, when you're with, when you find, let's say that you enter into Jannah with your spouse. I've actually had people come to me and say, you know, if going to Jannah means I'm still going to be with my wife, it's not Jannah. <laughs> or if going to Jannah means he's still going to be there, it's not really Jannah. Can I get to Jannah and can I switch out husbands? Can I switch out wives in Jannah? It's not going to be like when you enter Jannah, it's not going to be like not you again, right? Can you go to that other house in Jannah and can I have my own space in Jannah? Okay, because in Jannah, number one, there are no grudges, no ill feelings. You might, you might work out your problems before you get into Jannah. Number two, there is no there is no dissatisfaction in Jannah, okay? And you will love your spouse in Jannah, whether it's a spouse that is heavenly or a spouse that is from the people of dunya, whoever it is, you will love that spouse. And lastly, you know, something very beautiful the Prophet said about spouses in Jannah. The Messenger وسلم, he said that every time uh, a person sees their spouse in Jannah, that they would see that their spouse is more beautiful than the last time they saw them. And they would say, and you would say to your wife that you're even more beautiful than the last time I saw you. And she would say, SubhanAllah, and you're even more handsome than the last time I saw you. Meaning part of uh, Jannah is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes the spouses perpetually more uh, attractive, more beautiful, uh, more loving, and so on and so forth. So it grows, right? Whereas in dunya, obviously, we grow older and you know uh, we lose interest but subhanallah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grows that interest he grows that attraction so that the bond continues to get stronger and stronger and stronger in jannah and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to enter us into jannah al-firdaus with our spouses in the companionship of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam